like gridlock and there's I think I can think about once or twice a month when it's just a nightmare to deal with. Because I can't find any place to park either that or it's way too expensive. Traffic you have to work to drive you know. I think you need better better uh, facilities going out to the airports. Inconvenient. Waiting half hour for bus just doesn't do it. The problem is it doesn't run on time so you can't count on it if you're in a real crunch. I find traffic just too stressful. There's all these cars that are double parked and you can't find parking and you need to get somewhere fast. Everybody's got their commute and everybody comes to work sort of in, you know, stressed out mood already and you start your day at work like that. I mean, how productive is that? I would welcome any new kind of service. This is a crowded city and I guess trying to get streetcars and buses through it just can be a problem. It's tough. It's tough. The obvious alternative, of course, is a truly efficient, flexible, low-impact transit system. That's why developers, planners, and public officials today are looking more and more into the feasibility of low-cost, low-impact transit systems. Amongst those systems, Aero Movell offers an unusually cost-effective solution. Like other advanced people movers, Aero Movell's basic design addresses common transportation problems. The power source is quiet and non-polluting. Elevated guideways literally lift the trains out of the way of traffic congestion. The lightweight vehicles and support structures help to reduce capital costs. And finally, the small footprint of the support column requires an equally small right-of-way, which translates into significant cost savings. Aero Movell employs a truly unique technology the goal of which is to reduce cost through simplicity. The name Aeromovell is derived from the three terms that define the concepts aerodynamic, movement, and elevated. And that is literally the secret of Aeromovell's cost-effective design. The principle of the Aeromovell air propelled system is very, very simple. It's, it's like a, a sailboat. It's been used for centuries. What we do is we put the sail under the vehicle. Unlike most transit systems, there is no onboard motor. Instead, the vehicle is driven by electrical blowers located under the guideway. These blowers propel air under low pressure through a duct built into the guideway. The pressurized air pushes a propulsion plate attached to the bottom of the vehicle. This propulsion plate acts like an upside-down sail, propelling the vehicle forward and helping to stop it when the airflow is reversed. Of course, friction brakes are used for precision stopping. The propulsion plate is isolated from the exterior of the duct with a durable rubber seal. Because the power source is separate from the vehicle, the cars themselves have few moving parts and can be made very lightweight. Under the cars, you'll find steel wheels riding on steel rails, a very efficient and cost-effective solution. Because of their lightweight strength and efficiency, these vehicles can carry two to three times more people per ton of dead weight than most alternative systems. Ultimately, operationally, if you're moving something that's lighter, uh, ultimately, there should be a certain reduction in operating costs. Operating the train is going to absorb energy, but the fact that you don't have to carry as much weight means you use less energy. It's not an efficiency factor so much as is the fact that you're not doing as much work. Aero Movell's elegantly simple technology has been proven in Porto Alegre, Brazil, where a full-scale system has been in operation since 1983. Well, the Porto Alegre installation was uh, a real eye-opener for me. I, uh, I thought it was a chance to see the technology in operation. That was quite impressive. And in Jakarta, Indonesia, where the trains have been in commercial operation, reliably carrying passengers since 1989. The beauty of the Jakarta system is the fact that maintenance is not always done as we do the, the, the maintenance here in the States, but the system continues to run with very, very little maintenance and it's supporting itself. 
One of the keys to Aeromovel's low cost and high reliability is its use of proven industrial equipment. The power source, for instance, is composed of industrial electric motors and blowers. The cost-effective reliability of these motors is only increased by the fact that they are mounted on a stationary platform. You don't have these uh, propulsion units or motors, if you will, moving along the guideway, being subjected to vibration, being subjected to the things that make things fail. In keeping with Aeromovel's commitment to simple, cost-effective design, the guideway, and sometimes the support columns as well, are prefabricated in modular sections. This makes for rapid construction, with minimal disruption to the surrounding area. Jakarta was built in eight months. There was a real commitment made that that system had to be completed in that period of time. Aeromovel is also committed to low-cost operation. The automated train control, built by Alan Bradley, a division of Rockwell International, provides completely automatic operation with no drivers and unsupervised station departure for trains. The core of the competency of Rockwell Automation is in the world of automation, process control. This uh, is a fine example of, of that type of engineering problem that Rockwell solves on a daily basis. Maintenance is reduced by the fact that the vehicles themselves are so simple and the standard working parts so durable. In fact, routine maintenance can be performed right at the passenger station during off hours, reducing the need for costly maintenance yards and spare vehicles. And if one of the ground-based motors goes down, adjacent motors act as a redundant propulsion system, allowing the trains to continue functioning. Meanwhile, maintenance crews have full access to the propulsion system, without having to interrupt service. This also avoids the cost of purchasing, storing, and maintaining spare trains. In the transit industry, you look at technologies as being mature after they've satisfied a certain number of actions without failure. Aeromovel certainly has done that. Aeromovel's commitment to low-cost design and operation is coupled with a commitment to passenger safety. In fact, safety is built into the very design of the system. The air buffer between propulsion plates, for instance, automatically helps to prevent collision between vehicles. If, under extraordinary conditions, two vehicles begin to approach each other, the air in the duct would compress, acting like a cushion to slow and then stop the vehicles before impact. The same propulsion plate, which helps to create the air cushion, also works as a brake when the airflow is reversed. This pneumatic braking system, along with the standard friction brakes, gives Aeromovel a built-in dual braking system. The propulsion plate, attached to the bogey of the vehicle, locks the vehicle in the guideway, making derailment virtually impossible. And, unlike many other systems, the guideway itself can act as a safe evacuation route in the event of an emergency. Passengers exit at either end of the vehicle and simply walk along the guideway to the next station. One of the less obvious cost-saving features of Aeromovel is its ability to integrate easily into the existing infrastructure. Because of its narrow track and small footprint, it can be constructed on existing right-of-ways, like roadway medians or shoulders, minimizing disruptions during construction. Aeromovel can be extended almost anywhere. All you need to do is add a switch. The support structure is small enough and flexible enough to build around most existing utilities, avoiding the often enormous cost of relocating utility lines. And unlike systems that send power through the wheels and rely on the wheels for traction, Aeromovel can climb grades up to 12% and negotiate curves as tight as 25 meters in radius. From an engineering point of view, it has some very unusual features, attractive features. And from uh, an economic point of view, of course, as I've indicated, it has some cost advantages. We have more than one market that we can focus on and are actively doing so. In a major city, we would help the city connect their existing systems with venues that they might have, a museum, a convention center. We would bring the existing transportation system to that venue. It will also fit into a national park because of the fact that it is uh, very quiet, very environmentally suited to that sort of a situation.
It's an age-old technology being applied in a new way to solve uh, a very real problem today, and it is moving people. Where we can serve the public best with an elevated system, that's where Aeromovel will shine. If you're going to be buying something, and the products by and large are similar to what it is you're going to be buying, you're going to pay for the lowest cost system if everything else is equal. So that is the advantage that this system has. I think it's something that everybody should look at because we, we need to help the environment, we need to help the situation. We may have to pay a price to keep pollution down and I'm willing to do that. The elevated system doesn't have any obstacles. A oh, comfortable, reliable system. I think it's clean, they're quieter and reliable, it's convenient, faster. Mm -hmm.